Hello, everyone. Welcome to probably one of the, my more favorite videos to film. Yes, welcome to one of our favorite kinds of videos to do. Can you tell? The Trend Report. It's not my favorite season, but I'm still excited to talk about the trends for the season. So we are going into winter, <sighs> which... Cold and dark. Cold, sick, <laughs> bad, <laughs> snow, ice freezing yeah. car accidents but fun clothes but some fun clothes gingerbread and peppermint everything presents merriment i do <gasps> merriment christmas movies trees <laughs> deforestation <laughs> this is the winter trend report for 2020 but i just want to let you know of the videos that we have going up while we are separated so we yes. are going to be doing by popular demand another thrift with us. We're going to be doing two separate hauls. One of them will just be me and one of them will just be Ryan. Yes. So you'll kind of get like one-on-one -on -one videos <gasps> in a way, which we we've never bond. done. I especially <laughs> don't think Ryan's ever been in a video alone. I don't think so I have. So that'll be interesting. It'll be fun. Yeah. I think it'll be a good time. That's what's coming up. I'm excited though. I think it'll be fun. Yes. Anyways, I think we should jump in to the winter 2020 trend report. <laughs> So as usual, we broke apart the trends based on like parts of the body or categories. We go top down. We tried to dress the part and unfortunately I don't really have much of the winter trends. I just have a neutral color. So that's why I put this on. Ryan is very untrend and you'll see. I bought see. this coat earlier this winter and I love it so much. <laughs> you'll see I that. look like a big, like potato chip. We are first gonna talk about the accessories and the jewelry, which unfortunately there is not a ton that has to do with that. No. Then we're going into the tops, jackets, coats, and sweaters, which obviously there's a lot to talk about when it comes to mm -hmm. that. Then we're going into the pants and the jeans, which surprisingly didn't have a ton of like new interesting trends. No. We'll see. I feel like winter, there usually isn't a ton of like new pants. Yeah. Cause it's more just like warmth. Yeah. Instead of like fashion. <laughs> Then we're going into the shoes and the boots, which again, of course, there's quite a bit. Then the bags and the wallets, and then we will kind of summarize the colors, the textures, and the patterns that were popular for winter of 2020. Yes, we will. So Ryan is gonna kick us off with the accessories and jewelry. Like I said, not a ton. No, there's not. So usually with jewelry, especially seasonally, it gets more fun in like warmer months, but especially like in the winter, very simple, very plain. Chunky gold jewelry has always been in. Um, necklaces especially, and pearls. Yes, so pearls. pearls are joining the party for this season. I think pearls always do good in the winter because they're white. Maybe. And they that remind people it. of snow. And they and are they more go like classy and they look like ornaments. They look like snowflakes. They're easy to wear with sweaters. They like, don't snag. And they don't snag. That I don't sense. remember who told me that, but somebody was like, we wear pearls in the winter because they don't snag sweaters. Once again, it's the chunky gold chains that are popular. Those have been popular, I think, for literally like the last three Trend Report videos. Yeah. So those, so have, went, seasons. those have went nowhere. So nope. continue to pick those up if you see them. If you see like Kendra Scott or something. Oh, yeah. Grab those. Mm -hmm. Let's move on to something a little bit more. More interesting the tops the jackets the coats and the sweaters waist length puffer jackets are very very popular this season most often in duller colors like tans creams a mustard yellow like mustard yellow yeah. there's like some like off lavenders there's some grays I saw a lot of bloggers wearing tons of different like dulled down waist length ones they are kind of like this where they're a little bit more like padded down like thinner let me, let me bump back up again they're not, puffy not like a huge like balloon puff yeah. more just like a smooth kind of like like you can definitely tell this one is insulated but it's but not it's like... not like you know like i can put my arms close to my body and still like you know i feel like for the past like as long as i can remember it's been those like knee length shin length or even like thigh length those puffers like that are super mm -hmm. puffy and they're just super long. They're, they're like always micro cores. But it seems as though we are finally straying away because almost every blogger that had a puffer on, it was waist length, which I would more prefer. I know it probably keeps you warmer to have them down to the knee, but on the side of like trends and fashionableness, it's the waist length ones this time around. Those knee length puffers get so dirty so fast That's though. That's true. Cause like you sit on them. Yeah. Like, yeah. and I think, you know, any kind of body style, a waist length anything, I think makes you look a little bit better. It accentuates you your legs. When you have this like thick black shape on your body, even if you're six foot tall or two feet tall, like you just look 
tinier. As for sweaters, the ribbed sweaters are still super popular. We saw these in the fall trends mm -hmm. and they are continuing in. There were still like ribbed, like knit pants, ribbed dresses. I didn't put those on here, but the ribbed is still very popular. Leather long coats. So like duster length coats that are made of leather. Even if you probably found like a wax coated canvas or like wax coated cotton one, that yeah, would be popular too. That like leather look, it that looks, like kind of shiny black. Yes, those brown. are super popular. Also like leather shirt dresses or leather looking shirt dresses are really popular. So the like longer leather pieces, there were some like leather shirts as well. So it's kind of like leather everything as you'll see across the board here. Vintage inspired sweaters are super popular, which obviously if you're a thrifter and you're picking up sweaters to sell, that means genuine vintage You can just find also. the actual vintage. Yes. <sighs> But the brands like Zara and all of the like trying to keep on top of the trend brands are doing a lot of vintage inspired sweaters. Kind of like if you watch any of our hauls, Ryan picked up a lot in the last one. I love it. Of like floral yes. or some of the Fair Isle. The ones the, that- um, uh, Argyle. Yeah. The Argyle. Argyle, Argyle Fair Isle. Not yes. Ida's. Ones that have just like patterns around the wrists. Just mm -hmm. all kinds of those almost like tacky, wacky, mm -hmm. vintage sweaters mm -hmm. or vintage looking ones. Large collars are very popular. A lot of people are getting like crew neck sweaters and they're wearing dress shirts under them that have like big pointed collars. That's really popular. I you think can, that's a good one. I like you can that. You can also buy like collars to wear. Some are lace. It's almost Veronica, like a judge. Veronica Beard. Yeah. <laughs> buy a dicky. It's almost like a judge would wear. Like you picture it as like someone on like a judicial like court. Like Judge Judy. Yes. Oh. So those are really popular right now. I saw a lot of this thing that I really hadn't seen before sweater sets. So your pants I'm here for and your sweater are the exact same pattern, the exact same material, exact same like ribbing. Interesting. It's it's I actually really that. cute and it'd be so warm. But those are super popular right now along with something I have seen a lot of sweat sets. So like a sweatshirt with sweatpants that go together. Not juicy couture. We're not talking about velour. No. Like a gray, what I've seen is really, really popular are kind of like dollar tone or like earth tone. Yeah. Like sportswear sets. So like somebody will have like a big vintage brown Nike hoodie with a big logo and then like a matching pair of Nike um, like joggers. I'm sure about? this has a lot to do with people being at home and wanting a lot of extreme comfort because yeah. what beats like a pair of sweatshirts, sweatpants, nothing. Literally nothing. Especially <laughs> in the winter, <laughs> so you're freezing. So it keeps you warm, it keeps you comfortable and like yeah. it looks like it goes together. In a yeah, way. and it's like, I think especially and what I'm interested in is that like, since we are all stuck at home and we are all, you know, trying to be safe and quarantine or whatever, like how is fashion going to cater to that? Yes, which it, we've seen in the I was past say, three sweater, reports, I'd say. Sweater sets, has, but... um, the like high fashioning of like, loungewear, yes. which I'm here for. And then two that have kind of carried over from last season would be the oversized blazers. Mm -hmm. That has carried on longer than last season. Those have been popular for a good year, I would they just say. just look good on people. And no. then large button sweaters. So with the big noticeable buttons, like you got mm -hmm. a cream sweater with a big brown set of like three or four buttons. Still super, super popular. Do very well. Yes. Let's move on the bottoms. So as with the shirts, we are also seeing a lot of leather pants. And they don't necessarily need to be like biker pants. Like they're not like Harley Davidson, like, you know, tight no. fitting, whatever. They're like, take a good modern pair of pants. that are like a little bit more flowy, have a little bit more room in them and just to make them out of leather. Mm -hmm. Like know? gauchos, paper bag, a all gaucho. of, you take basically the like stylish styles of pants that we've seen over and the just past make them out of leather. And make them into leather or faux leather. Yeah. For those vegans. Yeah. And the people that don't have $2,100 to spend on leather, leather pants. pants. We're not talking suede. Not no. suede. Like, it is like shiny. Like leather. Leather pants. Like polished. Yes. Or what they call it? Like finished? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like not, you could leather condition them. You don't dry clean them, you leather condition them. Yeah. Not suede, suede, oh God. <laughs> Belted jumpsuits are also a big thing. I love a good jumpsuit. I Think of like Rosie the Riveter. Jumpsuits. You know, with the, her cute little bandana. Think of that, like utility. Oh. I think they're called bomber jumpsuits, like from like back in the whack era. And utility Like jumpsuits. World War II. Or yeah. like boiler suits. Boiler suits, that's the name. I literally could not think of the name. Like a boiler suit. Yes. I have a boiler suit. I don't Time know where to break it is. Her out. I love it. It's a Dickies boiler suit. I think it's my parents' house, like packed in a box somewhere. And I need to whip that thing out, mm -hmm. wear a little 
t-shirt on me fits something. Oh, I love them. The denim, I'm the biggest fan of jeans. I wear them all the time, every season. Mom jeans are really popular, kind of like they've been for the past, I don't know how many years now. Basic washes, just like nothing too like, too, too dark and nothing like too, too, too light. Just kind of like that happy medium of just like good old classic denim mom jeans. Yeah. High rise, cut off, basic pair of jeans. And then you can kind of wear them less distressed or more distressed if you want to. Yeah, really across the board, like every blogger and every website that I looked into was talking about how it's mainly just mom jeans that are like trendy for this yeah. season. Not bell bottoms, not flares, not super cropped, not wide, just classic mom jeans. Good old period. I think and not like, in wacky prints, you don't not want in wacky it. colors, yeah. not in Blue. just like light. Vintage Levi looking mom jeans. Or just vintage Levi's. Yeah, Those distressing optional, raw hem yeah. optional, but it's just the classic mom jeans apparently, which people have liked for a long time now. I love them, I wear them all the time. They must be hitting like right back to when they first got really I think cause like, I don't want to wear anything too short, like a crop jean, cause it's the winter and my ankles are gonna freeze off. I don't want to wear anything bell bottom cause you're gonna get them in snow and we're gonna and get And you're nasty. gonna get wind that goes up into them probably, yeah, yeah. if it's Just wide. like, you know, a mom jean, I will say that taper at the ankle she seals in the heat she yeah. makes you warm yes and then obviously sweatpants <laughs> i'm sure sweatpants sweat, too. sweat Maybe joggers that... high-waisted sweatpants like jogger style pants yeah out of that like terry or if you're gonna put them like... with your sweatshirt to make a set onto the shoes and the boots i am a big fan of all these categories because i have them all so the big the big brand being doc martens once again carried over <sighs> from last season i just got a pair of doc martens chest boots my birthday I will wear them until they are literally dirt. I love them, they're so comfortable. I think just like a good old plain black or brown boot will take you very far. Combat like. boots. Combat boots yeah. especially. This this winter specifically will take you very far. During the they're fall amazing. when they became super, they've been popular for a while, but they really mm -hmm. had a moment this fall. Those brown I ones. I bought two pair for myself finally. I will say, I get it. I love them, they're comfortable. You feel powerful. <laughs> you feel like you you're feel dressed like... up more. I would say of. Like they it are... gives you more of a like, this is a completed look versus like, yeah. I'm in some sandals I feel or like I'm in some sneakers. Yeah. I will say they are kind of heavy once you first wear them. Okay. And they can be hard to get your foot in at first. But like you wear them, you know, you break them in a little bit. They're your favorite pair of shoes. Mm -hmm. They are definitely worth investment. Or I get them secondhand. Rubber wellies. Wellies. I almost want to call them. They called them wellies all over the internet, but I think they're talking about rain boots. But I think that's like in the US. I think that's what we call them is like the knee high or ankle length, like hunter style, like rubber boot that you need to wear like a boot sock mm -hmm. with. I think all across the pond, wellies. you call them wellies, which I yeah. feel like is where most of the fashion comes from anyway. Those are always super popular. I feel like on a college campus, you see them everywhere, yeah. all the time. Any kind of length, knee high, yeah. the ankle length, the Chelsea like hunter boots are really popular yeah. this year. Lots of different colors, mm -hmm. not really like patterned ones, but like a lot of different like some gray ones, some army green. With the hunter boot and the well, wellies. it doesn't it doesn't have to be hunter. No, I saw a t like Mon that's just the Montclair uh, has made them recently. Danny, Danny which made I them. feel like it is a very I feel like fulfilling step for Montclair, a jacket maker to step into the wellies. Like, wellies. You make jackets, you make wellies, yeah, boots. I feel like Hunter is like the it's end like, all be all. The Doc Martin, the combat boot. boots is the Hunter to rain boots. Oh, it 100% yeah. is. It 100% is. Yeah. Chelsea boots of any variety are very popular. I have seen with the Chelsea boot style of Hunter boots do so well. I had just found those Coach Chelsea like rain Oh boots. yeah, like the black. Sold in like a couple days. They were like less than a week. Yeah. On with the boots. The hiking boots are also very popular as they are most winters. Like Pacific. Tins. Yeah, like the uh, Sherpa lined is another big one, especially for hiking boots like Timberlands or any of the other like hiking boot brands. Mm -hmm. Besides boots, we do have a lot of loafers and clogs. Not like Dansko clogs, like the clog Birkenstocks. That yes. kind of like, like more the of a flat, on. more of like a comfort versus like I'm on my feet for nine hours a day clog, like, mm -hmm. a, com like a gardening clog, yes. like a comfort clog. I saw a bunch of clogs that were like worn by bloggers that were actually made of like rain boot rubber. 
So it seems as though that rain boot material oh, is like all over, but like Zara had a ton of them. Probably like Birkenstock. I think H&M Hunter has probably a ton made of their own. I like, do really want to get a pair of the fur lined um, clawed Birkenstocks. Those look so comfortable. Yeah. And they, I'll be trendy. And I think they have Sherpa ones too. Probably. If I'm not mistaken. And loafers, good old, you know, classic pair of brown, black loafers. The yeah. Gucci, the Princeton mules are as popular as they were when they first came out. Those fur lined ones yeah the sam edelman steve madden imitations of those are always very popular they always do very good a lot of loafers yeah. are popular there's ones that are embellished and ones that just have buckles there are ones that are a little more interesting or what are those called um horse bit like yeah the horse bit loafer yeah they're usually black but they loafers be, in general are pretty they popular cognac. they can be like gator our last like accessory or clothing category would be bags or like wallets or accessories big things once again it's a little similar to what we've been seeing for like the past year. It's a lot of top handlebags. They're usually smaller and very popular right now would be hobos. A lot of brands in the luxury mm -hmm. market I've been seeing have been getting back into their like vintage designs. Those kind like, of like early 2000s designs, like yeah. they sit in the crook of your arm. Or pit. even back in like the 90s, like the pattern, like the old Gucci pattern, the oh. old Fendi pattern. I know Dior brought back the saddlebag, which is like a ha top handle hobo. So a mm -hmm. lot of more vintagey looking bags you yeah. get your vintage sweater you get your vintage luxury you bag. wear your argyle sweater and there's your look your mom not like massive hobos either like not no. the big ones like the ones where you put like the a one, cell phone and like a lip gloss the ones and, like, that probably like three years ago we would have looked at and went that's mm. nasty yeah <laughs> those I mean, are popular like, now i like, do kind of like them um, like some of the like the oh, Gucci, I like redesigned the like, redone monogram. saddle bags are so pretty <sighs> I will no. say I am probably one of the biggest fans of the Dior monogram. So like, I do love the original one. So aside from hobos is the style we've kind of been seeing for the past year as well, I feel like, and that is more the quilted or puffy type of bag. Mm -hmm. Kind of like the Bottega Veneta one that I feel like we've been showing pictures of for the past two trend reports. <laughs> Puffer mm -hmm. bags quilted bags, they look like your jackets. So basically you your bag really matches your look. You wear a vintage sweater with a vintage bag that's like hobo style, or you wear a puffer jacket with a puffer purse. So the handbags I need to really, get a puffer purse. really go with your look, it seems like for winter. So to summarize what we are seeing color-wise, texture-wise, and pattern-wise for winter of 2020, ribbed is still popular like it was in the fall. Yes leather everything literally leather bags leather shoes mm -hmm. leather pants jackets shirts. shirts dresses everything is leather yes. neutrals black and white yes a lot Good of people old. have been wearing black and white put together mm -hmm. houndstooth is apparently mm -hmm. very out apparently houndstooth is very out i just thought i'd add that in but black and white is very popular plaid is a pattern that we are yes. seeing a lot of, obviously because it's winter. Yes. Everybody wears flannels and plaid coats. Unsurprisingly, puffers and quilted is very popular, whether it be your hat, whether it be your purse, whether it be your jacket. Puffers and quilted looks are very popular. And then pearls not only were on jewelry, but I saw a lot of pearl accents on like loafers or on like sweaters. bags they, like, as the handle. Stitch them into sweaters. Chanel does a lot of like pearl handle bags. And then rubber. I didn't have that down, but I suppose that would be popular too because it was used on the clogs, it was used on the rain boots, it's used on the Chelsea boots, it's popular. The wellies. Yes, so a lot of materials and textures that very heavily have to do with the season, which makes yeah. sense. Like rubber, snow and stuff doesn't affect that. Waterproof. Quilted, keeps, keeps you warm. You warm. Mm -hmm. And leather. Then, insulating yes looks good Sweat. very utilitarian season sweatshirt material duh. yeah so it's kind of some like more obvious i feel like trends Ugh. this year maybe it's because you're not really going out and like showing off your outfits yeah. so it sticks more to like utilitarian and like warmth and or just like the use. what's comfortable yes i feel like in past winters we've seen like really funky uncomfortable like why would you want that in the winter it's cold out yeah this makes me feel very happy yeah which i feel like is how all the trend reports have slowly moved towards throughout the year like at the beginning of the summer we were mm -hmm. starting to move towards just comfort with just like, like tie-dye and stuff shorts and tie-dye tops yeah yeah and then in, in the, the fall, fall it was getting a little more with just like flannels and, and just, just like kind of the more basic pairs normal of jeans, like no crazy shoes yeah and now now Boots. we've almost cut out all kind of like extras and it's really just what you would expect for the season. So and like how you can make that yeah. look good. Comfort is the trend.
Which like, I've been really. on that trend since day one. Yeah. I was born. So I hope you guys enjoyed the winter 2020 trend report. We always love making these. Let us know what you thought. Let us know if you know of any other trends that we missed. Yes. And we would love to learn from you as well and do some research on those. So thank you guys for watching. And be sure if you're a reseller to go pick up some of these things because they're going to be popular. Mm -hmm. And we will see you, you guys. Words. And we will see you guys in the next one. Goodbye. Bye. Bye.